Hey guys, Anglor here. Welcome back to Bait and Kato's Origins. In the last part, we beat the Hollow Hollow Bird finally at a lower level than maybe I should have. And in this part, well, loot the Hollow Hollow Bird's corpse, as well as hopefully find a way out of this stupid jungle. But first, I should probably talk with everyone. Uh, who needs news? Let's see what happens if we go this way. I guess it's time for a treasure hunt. Cause there's a lot of treasure to get here. I remember how obnoxious those things were in the first game. But they aren't even the worst now, because we got poison flowers. There we go, relay combo. We even got an EX combo. Great. People are getting poisoned like mad. And I didn't even know my health was dropping that low. Well, Gilo's down. That's all we need. Okay, that's looking pretty bad. We're getting out of here. Let's regroup. I did that completely wrong. You always gotta go for the flowers, because they're ridiculous. Well, we got a new weapon for Millie, anyway. Is it any better than the one I already use? Forty-two, what's my current? Okay, it's a little bit better. And then I guess I'm gonna have to fight that thing if I want to get down, so... Okay, let's be smart and get rid of the flower this time. Here we go. Intense EX combo. Guess that's all I'm getting from Gilo. Not that that's bad in any way. Oh, okay. I saw that coming. At least it didn't wreck everyone with poison.
Well, that takes care of the most annoying enemy. Okay, at least we got in the X combo. It's just too bad Gilo had to die before he could use it. I was gonna kill Millie for some reason. Take it. Oh, I saw that coming. Of course they target her. And I'm getting complete crap draws. That one wasn't even dead yet, like I thought it was. Let's get rid of these finishers. I didn't even notice Gilo's health got so low. And I thought I had the bandages and not the attack card, but... Oh, I did that with Gilo! My bad. So am I gonna get a revive or not? Well, that's EXP Gilo doesn't get. You win! Not a bad workout. Not that he's doing terrible in terms of it, but... Okay, let's go down here. Assuming I can get around there. And then, we'll jump up here and get another prize. Which is another copy of Ice Bloom. And because we ran into it with a decently full dash gauge. Oh, yeah. We get an MP charge. May my blade be sharp. Hey, here comes the EX combo. And the sick relay follow up! And he's 
these guys just drop the any and all EX combo. That was easy. Another foe vanquished. What a strange feeling. And now we come to this point. So I can go up here. I like that nice use of the background so we can't really tell where we're going. I don't even know what the last thing I picked up was. Not the armor, the thing before the armor. Okay, that was just another copy of the finisher for Soggy. Anyway, let's just sneak past that thing. And we come to this area. That thing's in our way, so we'll beat the crap out of it. Oh great, there's four of them. We got a relay going. It's not a great relay, but it's there. May my blade be sharp. Okay, that's one down. And these enemies love raising their defense. We're making progress at least. I probably didn't need to MP first to do that, but... Surprised that even made any X combo. Take the kill this turtle. This is bound to hurt. And it just gives me a really awesome EX. Too bad I didn't need it. How long did that take? Sorry about that. Felt like a lot longer. Well, it gave us something for Sedna, not that I really go there. Oh, it's a hot spring. That's a pretty useful healing item.
Yeah, it restores HP and cures all status effects, but gives sleep. That being said, it's the closest I get to, well, what I feel are the best healing items in the game. So... Where's that? Let's see what's up here. Butterflies? That's messy. Anyway, the way we want to break through here is weird, but... So there's this sleeping elephant-like creature. Whoa! Look at the size of that elephant. An elephant. I think it's sleeping. Stupid dick bat! Don't get so close. Elephants can turn really savage when they're upset, especially right after they wake up. They go berserk and charge right at you. Wow, Millie, you really do know everything. Thanks, Soggy. Well, it's it's all written in the School of Magic's textbooks. So, so it's, it's just hearsay. Shut up! Now let's keep moving and try not to wake it up. Which is funny because waking it up is exactly what we want to do. So, I'm not allowed to go backwards for whatever reason, but this just takes us the same way. Hey, didn't we just pass through here? I, I think, think we, we did. did. See? What did I tell you? The Hollow Hollow Jungle's a terrible place. This is how it starts. You get lost, you can't find the way out, and when you finally collapse, the Hollow Hollow birds come out and... Except we just killed one. Can't be that bad. Hey, Millie, do you know which way Como Mai is? The rainbow's over yonder. So, I guess it would have to be... that way. <laughs> but what difference does it make? We can't get out without a trail. Maybe we could get some help from the elephant. Didn't you say it charges when it gets mad? I see. So we make our own trail. Exactly. If we can just get it to wake up. All right then. Let's, Let's get, get this pugnacious, pugnacious pachyderm out of bed. And to do that, we need the help of the butterflies. Take three of them, because I'm sure you need more than one to wake it up. Well, let's fly back over there. even ask me to do anything and it just shows me what I need to Yeah. Need more than a few. Need more than one. Okay, 
Okay, on the third try, this should be enough. So we'll go hide. Take the tree. So, with the bird going berserk, the elephant wakes up and just makes a path for us. That's the way to Como Mai, right? Uh-huh. And look, we've got a brand new road. We certainly do, but how far is that elephant going to run? I hope we don't find Como Mai in ruins. Uh, hey, it wasn't my idea. Anyway, our path's been made, so... I'll end the part off here. Next time on Bait and Kato's Origins, we'll check out Como Mai. See you guys then.